So guys, after the CPI yesterday, we have seen a move towards the downside. Even though the CPI was bullish, now in this video, I will show you why this move towards the downside happened and what were my projections inside the premium channel. This video is going to be very short and interesting, so make sure you watch it till the end and don't skip any part of it. So welcome back to Hybrid Wheels and this is your 4 hour chart for Bitcoin. Right now you can see that we are trading in some sort of a symmetrical triangle and the technical target for this breakout towards the upside if we break uh, $30,700 then our technical target is going to be at around $32,500. So it is a, going to be a big move if we break out towards the upside. Moreover, we also have this bullish broadening wedge that we already broke out from and we are currently holding support above the $30,150. So that is also giving us a technical target of this high which is at around $31,200. So will we move towards the upside or will we not? But first, let's talk about why did we see this move towards the downside after the CPI was released, even though gold, NASDAQ and other traditional markets were pumping because CPI came in lower than expected. So guys, just after the CPI was released, we saw this news coming out. Uh, it says Silk Road linked to Bitcoin worth 300 million of dollars moved by US government, which is shown by the on-chain data. So the US government has previously sold 9,861 Bitcoin for 216 million dollars in March. And when this news came out, people panicked and that led to the fall in Bitcoin's price. Now, if you see my CPI plan, which was shared on premium yesterday, I did mention three scenarios which could be possible and the third one came out to be true. If CPI are near below 3.1% and core CPI month on one 0.2%, I was expecting a stop end of $100, $300 down and then a pump of $1,500 to $2,000. The likelihood was 10%, but that is what actually happened. So right now, if you see the chart, we were trading somewhere around $30,700 at the time of CPI, and we dropped all the way down to $30,200, $30,150. So it was a move of $500 because I was already expecting a $100 or $300 stop hunt. And if you see in the charts, you can see that we were trading at around $30,700 before the CPI was released. And once it was released, we saw a move towards the downside. Because of the other news about Silk Road, we saw further correction and we dropped around $500 to $600 towards the downside. But this was actually a stop hunt in my opinion. And I also shared this trend line on our premium channel as well as the free chat group. So if you have not joined the free chat group yet, make sure you do that. The link is in the description. It's free of cost to join. So price actually bounced from this support and uh, we did not see any candies closes below $30,250 which was a very good sign right now we are moving up but we have PPI report coming out today and uh, that is also going to induce some sort of volatility in the chart so we have to look out for that but uh, in my opinion I don't see much volatility happening because of PPI even a little retrace is possible and then we go up again now the important thing in this chart is you can easily see that we have seen one hit second hit and the third hit now if we attempt again at this resistance at around thirty thousand seven hundred dollars i am expecting a breakout towards the upside similarly on the downside we have seen one two and three hits so if we attempt a break towards the downside we are going to see a move towards the downside but even if we see a move towards the downside in my opinion right now what we can expect is some sort of a move like this so if we see a move towards the downside i'm expecting that to turn out to be a fake out and a move towards the upside more likely in my opinion currently now one important thing that i wanted to show you is nasdaq has created a gap yesterday because of the cpi report that came out and this gap is currently between fifteen thousand one hundred and thirty dollars and fifteen thousand two hundred dollars so we could see a move down today after the ppi is released uh, to fill this gap before going back up so we can see some sort of retrace on the bitcoin chart as well because of nasdaq and if we do that then that would be a very good buying opportunity in my opinion so that's all guys from this video and uh, if you enjoyed watching it then make sure you drop a like and also comment down below what you think could be the future for bitcoin in the shorter term and if you're new to the channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button and also ring that bell icon so that you can be notified whenever I put up another update. That's all guys. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, happy trading. Bye-bye.